Okay, okay. Some things you have to, you have to, you won't believe it. But <laughs> the Queen supports Black Lives Matters. Did you guys know that? Because I didn't know it. I never heard it before. And even though she can definitely speak for herself, she has not spoken up herself about the issue of Black Lives Matter. So, enters... Okay, I'm not even going to do any name calling, but just imagine what I would have said. Sir Ken and Lisa, the first black Lord Lieutenant for London, spoke to Channel 4 about the issue. That's what it says in the Evening Standard. Now, I don't know if the Evening Standard is a tabloid, and that's why he decided to share this with them. Or, I don't know exactly what's going on with this. But, as you know, the devil is in the details. So it says, the Queen and the Royal Family are supporters of Black Lives Matter movement, uh, one of Her Majesty's representatives have said. And of course, Ken Olisa, the first Black Lord Lieutenant of London, revealed to Channel 4 that he had discussed the topic of racism with members of the Royal Household in the wake of George Floyd's murder in the USA. In an interview, the, the I was about to say the black caster, the broadcaster said, <laughs> that was a Freudian slip, wasn't it? Okay, let me try that one more time. In an interview with the broadcaster, he said, I have discussed this with the royal household. This whole issue of race, particularly in the past 12 months since the George Floyd incident. I believe that incident was a murder. It's a hot conversation topic. And the question is, what more can we do to bind society to remove these barriers? The, they, the royals, care passionately about making this one nation bound by the same values. As if the palace supports Black Lives Matter, Sir Ken said, the answer is easily yes. Quote, unquote. The answer is easily yes. During the program called Black to Front, which is a little wordplay, Black to Front, which is to be aired on Friday at 7 p.m., will be produced by an all-black representing and reporting team. Sir Ken also said the Queen had sought his advice after the Grenfell fire on whether to visit the site of the tragedy. He said he advised the palace to go, but he added, I remember thinking as it all happened, it was quite scary. We didn't know whether or not she would be booed or have things thrown at her, etc. And when she got out the car, all these people applauded. I have no idea what this actually really means. And if that were the case, if they were supporting Black Lives Matter all this time, <laughs> Ah, this is just a bunch of hooey as far as I'm concerned. I don't know exactly what point they're trying to make other than some great distraction in time for the Jubilee. Or is this like sending some signal to the Sussexes to say, well, you know, we lived and we learned. I don't know what they're trying to say with this, but I know one thing's for sure. I don't believe it. And didn't we go through this whole thing with Mike Tendo saying that he doesn't buy the whole Black Lives Matter? I mean, just this whole thing is so odd and the timing is weird. And the person who is conveying this message for the royal family over a year since George Floyd, just yesterday uh, we saw the Duke of York, Randy Andy, and of course, um, Duchess of York, um, you know, Sarah Tosuck Ferguson. We saw the two of them peeling out of, uh, what is it, Balmoral, Buckingham Palace, wherever they were. They were racing out of there. I didn't read the article, but I saw the photo in the headline. They were racing out of there trying to avoid the FBI. And now you got this. And then there's all these headlines about pay for play with the um, Prince Charles and now you got this 
and curiously silent throughout all of this, the Cambridges, who of course just announced uh, the other day that they are going to try and integrate the staff at Kensington Palace. So you just can't seem to find old Martin Luther Cambridge and his equally committed to equality wife, Coretta Scott Queen. You just can't find them anyplace. So I guess the days of his staff, the Mormon Tabernacle Choir, is over. Maybe they'll replace them with the uh, choir. <laughs> Maybe they'll replace them with the choir from Meghan and Harry's wedding. <laughs> you know, is all of this in tandem or is there a greater thing going on here? I don't know. But the Queen, not to be outdone, has been spotted about town wearing a new look. <laughs> One thing about the Queen, she's a survivor, so there's uh, there's been some sightings of the Queen around Greater London out trying to, you know, let people know that, that she's in it to win it. And of course, at this rate, she's really going to outdo the real soul sister at the palace, and that, of course, is Afro Annie. That's it for now. Please like, subscribe, share, donate, etc. If you would like to make a donation and you don't know how to help support this channel, you can go to the comments section where you can find links to the Patreon, the PayPal, and the Cash App. Thanks for watching Royal Sussex.